why manifesting your goals is inevitable when you're in alignment. Here's why manifesting your goals is inevitable and how the conscious, subconscious and superconscious minds play a part in the manifestation of our desires. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever given up on a goal because you didn't truly believe that it was going to happen? If you come from a place of not trusting in your own abilities to achieve your goals, you will never feel fulfilled. What about if I told you that achieving your goals is your destiny? I know this is a bold claim, but I do believe that it is inevitable that you will achieve your goal as long as you don't give up on it. And I call this God-given goal achievement. This is because I believe that God, the universe or whatever higher power you believe in, not only gives us a purpose, but gives us all the help we need to achieve it at exactly the right time time. My name is Kath Kyle and I'm the author of Stamp Goals book and I am so happy that you're here. I help content creators, change makers, manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy and I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. So why goal achievement is inevitable for you? So let's start by looking at where do desires come from? I believe that all positive desires come from God. I also like to refer to God as the divine, the universe, the creator, the higher mind or the super conscious mind. Use whatever term you prefer. I use a variety of all of them, but I tend to default to God most of the time. I also believe that we have the spirit of the divine within us, so we feel and believe the desires that were already placed on our hearts. Does that make sense? Have you ever struggled with imposter syndrome? You might have wondered, who am I to think that anybody should listen to me? Or why should I be blessed financially when others are suffering so much? Or Success like that just doesn't happen to people like me. Or, I think I'm getting ideas above my station. I should just stick to a job like everybody else. And it is normal to think thoughts like this. This is the ego talking and it is doing its job. The job of the ego is to keep you safe by trying to get you to stay doing things that you are comfortable with. But life is a journey towards working towards our purpose, the reason that we are put on earth. Each and every one of us has a duty to fulfill our purpose in this life. Have you ever wondered why you should have a big purpose when most of the people on the planet don't have big goals and don't have big dreams for themselves? It's probably because they are already living out their purpose in this lifetime. It's not everybody's purpose to be an entrepreneur. How would the world function if everyone wanted an online business? We'd never be able to buy any food, never be able to recycle our waste or go and get our teeth fixed at the dentist. Every person on this planet has a purpose and most people are already living theirs and have no desire to change what they are doing. Humanity progresses because people like you follow their calling and start to create new things and offer new ideas to the world. When you are creating, you are in direct connection to the divine. If you have a desire to have a successful online business, then that is your purpose right now. It's not to say that people's desires and purpose in life can't change, but some people need to change what they are doing so they grow and learn new skills that they can apply to different situations. Your purpose is simply to be grateful to be alive and to follow your positive desires whatever they may be. I used to have a burning desire to become a teacher so I fulfilled that purpose until it no longer felt right. Then I felt I had the desire placed on my heart to be a foster carer. So I fulfilled that purpose until it no longer felt right, until there was a natural break. 
for the last 10 years of my life, I felt my purpose is to help people with various different things online. For the first five to 10 years, I felt my purpose was to help people improve their health. So that's what I focused on and it was very successful. Now I have a passion to help entrepreneurs to build successful businesses and share everything I've learned with them. So I've stepped into my current purpose and I don't see anything wrong with your purpose changing as your desires change. Your purpose is your life and your life is living your purpose. I believe that we should all listen to our hearts. What is your heart saying to you? To be honest, I didn't listen to my heart soon enough. I developed a passion to help entrepreneurs many years ago, but my health business was earning a stable income and I felt like it wouldn't be sensible to walk away from it. Fulfilling our purpose doesn't always seem sensible. I jumped at every opportunity I could to go to mastermind groups to help entrepreneurs for free and I enjoyed every minute of it. That's when you know that your purpose is from the divine because you enjoy it so much that you'd do it for free if money was no issue. So are we all destined to be millionaires? A lot of business gurus will encourage people to set big goals and I am going to do the same because it pushes you out of your comfort zone and gets you to think about what is possible. However, what is big to you might be different to what seems big to me. I do not think that we are all destined to be millionaires. I believe in karma, which means we all have a purpose that we are here on this earth to fulfill. Some people may have a goal to achieve a particular mission and the amount of money that they make may not be all that important to them. However, money is essential for us to stay alive, so we do need to believe that all of our needs can easily be met so we can stop worrying about having enough money and focus on our purpose. Having a lot of money doesn't motivate everyone, even business owners. I still think it's good to set a financial goal for your business, even if you're motivated more by your purpose than you are by money. Your business still needs money to operate and fulfill your mission, so it's critical that your business does bring a certain amount of money. What your revenue goals are will be completely up to you. You might be tempted to set a small revenue goal for the future and I encourage you to really dig deep and determine where this desire is coming from. Is this really your purpose or just a block that you've placed on yourself because you are scared or you feel undeserving? In my Stamp Goals book, we unpack fear so you don't have to worry about fear holding you back. We want to set goals that are truly right for us and aligned with our purpose. Now let's talk about God-given goal achievement. Because desires are placed on your heart by God, I believe it is inevitable that they will be fulfilled as long as you embrace them wholeheartedly and let go of your own striving. If we have a quick look at the reason why you have a desire placed on your heart, it's because people have literally been praying for what you have to offer. That's where your desires have come from. For every action, there must be a reaction. For every prayer prayed, there must be an answer to that prayer. What you have to offer is the answer to someone's prayer. And that's why you should never give up on your dreams. It's also good to remember that the divine has its own timing. You will get your desires met, but it might not be on your time scale. That is because you may have lessons that you need to learn first, such as letting go of the need to control everything or the need to feel worthy to receive. So how do we work towards fulfilling our purpose? I'm going to explain this to you in the context of the three minds that we all have working for us. The three minds are the conscious mind, the subconscious mind and the superconscious mind. They are all essential and they all work together to produce the results in your life. Here's how the conscious mind helps you achieve your goals. The conscious mind is like a computer. Its main job is to keep us safe. 
it decides the actions that we take based on the stimulus in the environment and learned behavior. Most people believe that the conscious mind is the only mind we have and determines who we are. Most people are not aware of the other two minds that we have. The conscious mind allows us to function like a human brain and body. It allows us to talk, write and move our bodies. The conscious mind doesn't have a long-term memory and can only process one thought at a time. It takes in information using our senses. The conscious mind filters the information we receive and puts it into categories in our brain. It decides which information is relevant to us based on previous life experiences, thoughts and beliefs. The reason our conscious mind exists is to help us take fast actions. This is essential as it can help keep us alive. For example, you are crossing a road and a car flies around the corner and you immediately jump out of the way. You didn't have much time to process this information, but because the conscious mind draws memories about cars being dangerous from the subconscious mind, it is able to act out of instinct in a moment. It is the conscious mind computer that decides whether you work on your goals today or tomorrow. It takes its cues from the environment, memories stored in the subconscious mind and your core beliefs. The conscious mind is always switched on when you're awake and it's always thinking which is why it's so hard to turn off your thoughts when you meditate. You can't turn the conscious mind off but you can direct it to the path that you want it to take by reprogramming the subconscious mind. By getting into regular habits and routines, the conscious mind will expect you to be working on your goals on a daily basis. So being goal focused is the best thing you can do to achieve your goals. Is this making sense so far? So now let's move on to how the subconscious mind determines your success. The subconscious mind is what influences the conscious mind to take action. It is where we get our decision making abilities. It tells us what we need to know through thoughts, feelings, imaginations, sensations and dreams. The subconscious mind is always working even when you're asleep. It is processing information from the day and storing it as memories and processing it during dreams. The subconscious mind is our memory bank. It stores all of the information we've ever taken in our whole lives. Every action we've taken, every thought and every feeling we've ever had about everything. The subconscious mind influences how we act, the future thoughts we have and our future feelings. The only way the subconscious mind functions is by taking in how you felt in the past and helping you to feel a similar way in the future. For example, you may have had a bad experience when you were a baby. Say for example that you almost drowned in a swimming pool. Your subconscious mind has stored your panic and feelings about water and has now stored the memory that water is dangerous and must be avoided. That might be where your phobia of swimming comes from, even though you don't remember the experience as a baby. As the subconscious mind only draws information from the past, this is never new and creative. It is only based on habits and past emotions. The subconscious mind makes our decisions for us. We think our decisions are conscious, but actually they are determined for us by the subconscious mind. That's why we often act in ways that we wish we didn't and feel powerless to change our actions. The subconscious mind remains hidden from us, which is why most people don't believe it exists. The subconscious mind is responsible for the majority of your actions every day. If you want to change your life, you need to start with your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is the bridge between you and your superconscious mind. If you want to change your automatic reactions, personality and habits, you can only make a long lasting change by reprogramming the subconscious mind. And I show you how to do that in the tools section of my stamp goals book. 
Can you see how the subconscious mind has kept you stuck in negative patterns in your own life? So now let's move on to how the superconscious mind gives you million dollar ideas. The superconscious is a knowing that comes directly from the divine. The conscious and the subconscious minds are limited in their function, but the superconscious mind is unlimited and can transcend any limitations you currently have. The superconscious mind is where you get your new desires and creativity. If you're the kind of person who doesn't like to bring topics of spirituality into your business, I encourage you to reconsider. If you agree that your brain only stores memories from the past, how do you think you get brand new ideas? How did the car or electricity or the internet ever get invented for the first time when previously they didn't exist and nobody could have used stored memories to create those new inventions? I believe that all new ideas come straight from the divine to further our planet and help us grow as a population. For that reason, I think we should tap into the supernatural power that we all have inside of us to help us bring our desires to fruition. If you think about it, the conscious mind doesn't have any creativity and the subconscious mind only draws from previous experiences. So you don't have to worry that your desires and creative ideas are not legitimate because they came directly from source, not your brain's desire to keep you safe or from your stored memory, but as a new and exciting passion or insights that are placed on your heart. Any new, exciting and slightly nerve-wracking desire has come directly from God. How awesome is that? How do you think that several people often end up working towards the same new invention at the same time in history as it's often a race to see who can get a new idea off the ground first? I believe that God puts new ideas in the minds of several people at the same time and some of them only talk about their ideas and never act on them. Some act, but they don't take action quickly enough. The person who gets their new product or idea to market is the person who took the fastest action to the idea that was placed on their heart. So don't delay when you get an idea that could change everything as you're likely not the only person who has this new idea. And don't worry if you do come across someone else who has the same ideas as you, as long as you bring your own unique inspiration to your ideas, it will always come across as different from anything else out there. You can put your own slant on ideas. There are certain people who will resonate more with you and the way you do things as long as you're bringing inspired ideas to the world. Most people allow their subconscious mind to dismiss the still small voice of God because it doesn't like change and it feels too scary to step into the unknown. Remember that all fears and doubts are never from God, they are always from your ego which is trying to keep you safe. If you allow the desires of your heart to well up, you'll realise that they have been placed there because it's your soul's purpose in life right now. And if you don't act on your purpose, you'll never feel fulfilled in your life. That is the reason why reaching your goals and achieving your desires is inevitable as long as you don't block it. Your idea might be the next million dollar idea and if you don't act on it, you'll have no way of knowing how big this could become and how many lives you could change for the better. Are there light bulbs going off in your brain right now? So how do you access your super conscious mind? We have to purposefully set out to do it by making an intention. Then you get yourself into a different state by meditating, chanting, saying affirmations or mantras and praying prayers directly to the divine. You don't have to do all of these, just choose the method that you resonate with the most. I prefer affirmations and prayer, although I do also meditate too. So what about if you've been praying for your business for a while and you haven't yet reached your goals? I say don't give up because just working towards your goals is still fulfilling your purpose. 
Achieving your goals is not the ultimate goal, even though it might seem like it is. Think about it. What's the first thing you do when you achieve a goal? Hopefully it is to celebrate. But if you're like most people, no doubt you'll already be thinking about how you can achieve the next goal. That means you're permanently in a state of not having achieved your goals. So let's think about this in a more positive way. I believe the ultimate goal is instead to be constantly living your purpose. Your purpose is to enjoy the process. The process is your purpose. So even though my book is focused on achieving goals, really it's just about encouraging you to take action and live your purpose. Setting goals is just the means to motivate you to constantly be taking action towards your goals. Trust that God will provide for you and that every need will be met and then continue to work towards your goals. As long as you're making constant progress and checking in daily with your superconscious mind, in other words, praying and trusting, you are living your purpose. Every time you make progress towards your purpose, no matter how small, you should celebrate that, congratulate yourself and be thankful that you get to do work that you adore. If you can keep this state of mind, your business will go from one success to another. Are you now feeling excited to start accessing your superconscious mind and working with the creator to create something life-changing? I'm going to show you exactly how to do this in my Stamp Goals book. This content piece has been an excerpt from my Stamp Goals book. Now that you've learned why goal achievement is inevitable for you, you might be wondering what the tools are to reprogram your subconscious mind for success. And I have a whole section on this in my Stamp Goals book. To get hold of my book, you can click the link surrounding this content piece or go to kathkyle.com forward slash stamp goals and there you can read more about it and the fabulous bonuses that I'm giving to everybody who purchases my book and you will get a link to both my Kindle and my paperback books on Amazon and in my next content piece I'm going to be sharing my monthly manifestation results with you from my business so make sure you subscribe to my podcast Manifest Business Success to my YouTube channel Kath Kyle and follow me on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle so you don't miss that and while you're waiting for your copy of Stamp Goals book to arrive you can start taking practical action in your business today. Watch my free business goal setting workshop for fast results where I show you exactly how to set three essential goals that will get you fast results within one month. Boost your confidence, feel like a winner and attract more success to you by achieving your goals every time. This free workshop and associated workbook is part of my book bonus bundle for stamp goals and I'm only making this workshop and workbook free for a limited time so grab that while it's still available and you can click the link surrounding this content to grab that or you can go to kathkyle.com forward slash goals workshop. You are going to be so glad that you did and now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.